Hello everyone, it's The Gaming Nerd here, and today we're diving into something quite special for all you gamers out there. We're looking at the B Savior Mod PS5 controller in Midnight Black. This isn't just any controller, it's packed with features that make it a serious contender for one of the most versatile elite controllers on the market. A big thanks to B Savior for sending this over. First up, let's get this beauty unboxed. The packaging itself is sleek, much like the controller. Straight out of the box, the midnight black color scheme gives it a stealthy look. But it's not just about looks, this controller is designed to enhance your gaming with a multitude of mod features. We've got the controller, a quick start guide, and a USB-C cable for charging, and their USB-C to USB cable that helps you connect the controller to another controller, but more on that later. Picking up the controller, it feels robust fitting comfortably in the hands, seeing as it's the same design as a first-party PlayStation 5 controller. What sets this apart right from the start is the built-in display on the controller. This isn't something you see every day. It allows you to modify settings right from the controller without any need for a computer or an external app, even mid-game. Looking at the features, we have third-party connection. This controller supports devices like Cronus Zen and Cronus Max, plus it can connect with Xbox controllers, Nintendo Switch controllers, and other third-party devices. Digital back buttons. There are four programmable buttons on the back, labeled P1 to P4, enhancing your control and allowing for quick action responses. It also has macro script learning. This feature is a game changer, literally. You can program the controller to perform lengthy action sequence with a single button press. Perfect for tasks like stratagem combinations in Helldivers 2. Plus, it's also plug and play. Simplicity at its best. It's easy to use, but packed with extensive mod capabilities without any restrictions. You've also got mapping and turbo features where you can remap any button and assign turbo functions to speed up your gameplay. Imagine setting rapid fire on R2 with a turbo rate of up to 25. Auto turbo, this lets you keep firing without needing to hold down the button continuously. Just tap to start and tap to stop. And combination controls, creating a custom button combination like jump, shoot or prone shoot for tactical advantages in game. It can also learn multiple setups. So this controller allows you to save different configurations for games. So you can switch from a setup from one game to another with absolute ease. However, I must strongly caveat, please use these features responsibly and specifically in single player games. Avoid using them to gain an unfair advantage in competitive multiplayer games as this is considered cheating and I don't advocate for that at all. You can really ruin someone else's experience online who's not using the same device. Looking at my experience with the controller, I really enjoyed using this controller for the most part. It was quite comfortable, likely because it's a first party controller, but also I feel the back buttons were ergonomically designed in a surprisingly effective way. This is probably the first controller with four back buttons where I felt I could use them comfortably and learn how to utilize it effectively. However, one potential issue I noticed is that the back buttons protrude quite a bit from the controller's body. Given my tight grip, when playing first-person shooters, I was constantly worried about accidentally pressing them. While this did happen, it wasn't as frequent as I initially feared, and over time, it became less of a concern after extended use. The battery life of the controller met my expectations, I didn't feel the need to recharge it over multiple gaming sessions, and while it may have lasted slightly less than a typical first-party controller, possibly due to the B-Savior modifications, the difference wasn't significant enough to be a problem and could quite possibly just be a placebo. My main suggestion for improvement concerns the triggers. As a first person shooter enthusiast, I am accustomed to having trigger stoppers, which this controller lacks. This might be due to Sony's focus on haptic feedback for their first party controllers, where introducing trigger stoppers could potentially interfere. It's a trade-off between haptic feedback and trigger functionality that controller manufacturers need to consider. It would be beneficial if Bisabia could explore integrating trigger stoppers in the future versions. Aside from this, the buttons were excellent, with no stick drift. The controller's buttons were comfortable to use, and I adapted to them quickly. Overall, it was a pleasure to use this controller. The B-Savior not only looks great, but offers functionalities that can enhance your gaming experience, making it an incredibly versatile for any type of game you're into. If you're considering stepping up your game with an elite controller, this might just be the way to go. Especially as this is the only controller and device actually that I have seen which successfully lets you use other platform controllers. 
What's also really interesting is you can actually send in your own controller. They will then add their back button mod for you and it comes with a one year warranty. That's all for today's first look at the Be Savior Mod PS5 controller. Drop a comment below if you're as excited about this controller as I am and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more gaming tech reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.